today on Homestead How. That's the reverse. Katie figured it out. Yes! Ow! Oh! What'd you hit? Ah! Oh! Oh! Why didn't you tell me to be more careful? Oh! So this is a great generator I have on the homestead, but I haven't used it in like two years. Last year I fired it up and it was having problems getting gas. I don't know if it's an issue with the carb or what, but it would run and then it would just teeter out. So I'm going to take it apart today and try to get it running again. The carburetor on most small engines are very similar. There's usually a float bowl and what tends to happen is you leave old gas in there and it varnishes up and things get clogged out. So I'm going to clean this out with some air and some carb cleaner and try to get it fired up again. There's two plates in this carb, one for the choke and one for the fuel. And while cleaning this out, I realized the fuel plate was sticky and that was probably causing the fuel issues I was having last year. I cleaned it up with some carb cleaner and it loosened it up and I think it's gonna do the job. Last week I purchased a new carb for our log splitter because it was completely rusted out. It was only about $15. I was about to order one for this. I actually sent Jen an email asking her to order one but I decided to reassemble it and see if I could get it started. I fixed it! I fixed it! Yeah, I fixed it! Woohoo! The part I sent you I Amazon ordered, don't order it, I fixed it. No, that's the part I sent you today. I just sent you one 10 minutes ago. I know what you're thinking, and you're absolutely right. Our log storage area, woodshed area, is a complete mess and way overdue for a cleaning. So Jen is doing just that. Oh, cut. this looks nice. Where are you going to put all this? Cut it all, and I'm going to put it back here neatly. Could you maybe come over here and help? Because the women are doing the hard work. Who are you talking to her? I'm talking to you. Oh, I'm doing the fixing stuff. And fixing I put those, can wait. This has I put to those be heavy cut. things up. I know, I'm ignoring her though. I just act like I can't hear her. It's pretty funny. I wonder if you could drive this straight through. So we haven't run this golf cart in over a year. Last year the reverse went out on it. I put it on a battery charger overnight and it sounds like it wants to turn over but got to pull it out here with the Argo because it will not go in reverse. I've been pretty good about running my gas engines dry at the end of the year but I forgot to do it with the golf cart. I'm quite amazed that this thing just fired right up and ran on the old gas. We got, we got the golf cart fixed. We got the lawnmower fixed. We got the generator fixed. I can't believe this thing's working. And I do not remember it being this fast. Okay. Look how fast this thing's going. You wanna drive? Yeah. Oh, the only thing is, it's, I don't think reverse works. Okay, switch. One thing I love about YouTube is it's kind of like home videos. It really captures the memories. Watching Katie drive this, it made me think back to when she first learned how to drive this very golf cart four years ago. 
which I just happened to take a YouTube video of four years ago. Here's a little clip from that. I'm for what, driving? We'll go for the black bear. That's a bat. We should get all of our things to ride them. The Argo, the golf cart, the lawnmower. The ocean of The camper. This would win in a race. We can't go back to see this. Hey, we go golfing now. Uh-huh. It's a golf cart. All right, so Katie and I got the golf cart running, but it only goes forward. I just built this thing for the switch because the switch was just hanging there. And when you put the switch in reverse, it's supposed to beep, but that's not happening. One of our amazing uh, viewers on YouTube that's been following us for a while sent me this awesome multimeter. So I'm going to put it to good use now and I want to see if I can figure out which wires control the reverse because it should beep in reverse and it's not. So I think the switch might just be bad right here and if that's the case we might be able to hot wire a switch like this to uh, run the reverse. Probably something so simple. It's probably something so simple. Oh. What are these doing? Yeah, that could be. That's the reverse! Katie figured it out! Now try reverse. Yes! Ow! Oh! What'd you hit? Ah! Oh, that hurts so bad. Charlie. Well, oh. where are you going? Charlie. Charlie. Charlie horse. Oh, that messed me up. Oh, why didn't you tell me to be more careful? Oh. Oh, that hurts so bad. Why did you do that? What even happened? Oh, the whole thing fell and landed right on my leg. Pinched my leg. Real painful. All right, let's try it. So Katie saw some, after all this futzing around with a switch, Katie saw some wires and said, maybe that's it. And I'm like, yeah, right, that's really it. And then I connected the two wires. And now we have reverse. Not beeping anymore, but I don't know. It still works. Go to the greenhouse, please. Choke in. Choke in. Push the choke in. We got some hornets in there. There's one right there. We have to figure out where that's coming from. Okay, Katie, now, you're, now your next job, if you want this, is to clean it. You should power wash it.
this golf cart is amazing because it started right up and just drove. And it's like way faster than the Argo. I didn't remember how fast this thing is fast. Scary fast. But watch me go fast. Oh, I'm not gonna drive off Next time on Homestead How, we greatly expand our homestead garden. And we have some fun. Here's my diet. Oh, I won't eat anything all day, and then I'll have 2,000 calories to eat this one slice of pizza, and that's all I'll eat. But then this won't be all I eat. It's <laughs> not one slice. I'm one slice. Please subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.